I hit it again. I, I totally did. I love, <laughs> I love, I love that you literally asked Robert a question, not live, and then went, as as he tried to answer, you went, eh, whatever. <laughs> it just went, it went live and music <laughs> over top of the answer. I mean, it was pretty clutch. We gotta, we gotta have to admit this right now. Whew. So we're playing Banshee's Cry today. Yeah, Banshee's Last Cry. Where where we were <laughs> where we it. were just before we went live for everyone that's listening now. All of our friends out there in the in the cosmos. Uh, Robert was telling us a story about his uh, his ex, and I was his... wondering whether or not it was his ex who uh, uh, joined him on the nudist beach to watch men masturbate. And as he started answering the question, I went live <laughs> and just kicked <laughs> things off. So. We we still want to hear the answer. Can yeah, the, the, no, no, uh, the, the horror I still see. I like that one. It's the crazy X one. I don't like the one that <laughs> contacted me. Like, oh, we haven't been in touch for like a hundred years. Yes, because I fucking hate you. <laughs> so <laughs> help me politely frame that in a text message to someone you haven't spoken to in eight years. And wow. and take this. I, 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 I do love that our, our, our second comment is welcome to the podcast version of a prostate exam. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently he's an old listener, so thanks for coming back. Okay. Uh, Corey, uh, we're going to need you to cough for us right now. He, he, found, he found his niche. He found his niche. Um, no, oh. I love, uh, I, love oh, I, I did love Someone... that story, though, Robert, of, of you on that beach. So I just, I was confirming whether or not it was that girl. So we're still cool with that girl, then. Yeah, yeah no, I, I, I super Ooh, like that. You girl, almost yeah. said love. You almost said yeah. love on live Facebook. Well, she I, might I figured that, if though. I should tell uh, that I love her, it should probably be to her and not the four <laughs> listeners of a uh, 40K podcast. <laughs> I mean, I think you should tell the four listeners. We have six listeners right now. Uh, we just went eight. live. Just popped I eight. think you should inform these people that you love her uh, instead of telling her to her face. And then if and she I'll, watches this podcast, never she really her. loves you. <laughs> she probably does. I'm awesome as fuck. I mean, you are awesome <laughs> as a lot of things, yeah. I, I mean, I cannot tell whether or not she really likes you or not because she refuses to let her face be seen because she's apparently in witness protection and can't be seen in pictures she's, with you. She's 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 in the same place as uh, that dude you do that cast with on Art of War. By the way, his camera got a lot better. <laughs> his camera got a lot better. Yep. But um, but first yeah. of all, I watched a fucking Art of War movie the other day. I Which like Art of War that movie? Th this is a qualified 40k guide, and he. I, I'm not going to name any names. It's it's actually not even Brad. I didn't even recognize the guy. But he spent five minutes listing the number of units you could redeploy by saying, you could redeploy three units of bike and one shadow sphere. here. Uh, or, or you could redeploy two units of bikes and two boats. Uh, or, or you could redeploy <laughs> three boats, one unit of bikes. And I was like, oh, shit, this is, this is fucking mind-blowing. Could you tell me more combinations? Now, you know, if I, I would go, if I was gonna do that, I would have went all in. I would have went all in. I would have listed. I would just. It would have been one hour of me listing three units that I could put, just redeploy. If you're just listing the LR codex, and then go and then, minutes and then the, or, or 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 you could just this. This is a Horlikin guide for for the K players out there. People pay to listen to this shit. The bonus. The bonus would have been I would have done every combination. Of everything you would phantasm, uh, and then I would have done the, all the combinations of Harlequins you could do with the exact same strats for Harlequins. Oh, so good. <laughs> so good. Oh, Robert just destroying fools right now. Slaying. Oh, man. You actually gave me like, a little I, bit of a tear. I don't know what's the Or the movie it's with okay, Wesley Snipes. Know. When he said movie, I was just like, I'm really wondering what the segue is for Robert watching. Oh, no, a no, Wesley no. Snipes I a hundred I a hundred percent knew he was gonna make fun of someone's cast. I I, I wasn't gonna stop that. That was great. <laughs> That's exactly what I like. Um but uh but that was great. Anyways, uh Daniel, you've been quiet. How are you doing over there in the top right corner? I'm how's good, your man. how's your plant going, by the way? Are you ah, keeping it alive? Book. It's really nice. I yeah. I, I like that you recognized it. Uh, <laughs> I got it as a gift. I love every part about it. You have a green thumb, my friend. You have a green thumb. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm actually, that's because I'm painting my AdMech riders green right now, not because of the plan. <laughs> Speaking of good good units, man, whoo, those Only dudes. Bench. Yeah, exactly. Except, sorry, 
I, I didn't say great units, Robert. I said good units. <laughs> <laughs> the Ad Mac Raiders are insanity good. And then then you have who? You know what? It 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 literally made me sad. The best part was when I was first talking about this. Uh dude, one of my friends just goes, It it makes me physically ill to see GW list howling banshees as winners <laughs> <laughs> in the Power X Power Mall <laughs> things. He's like, fuck you, GW. <laughs> I think uh, yeah. I think everyone needs to go out and buy a uh, couple units of howling howling banshees because they're they're now they're now amazing, and uh, we're going to turn to Robert now to tell you all the ways you can redeploy them. Go ahead, Robert. What what other things could you redeploy? <laughs> what the- <laughs> just stare at the camera. <laughs> he just he just eyeballed. He's like, mm. uh, well, you could do two howling banshees and a scorpion. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we're doing this again. Cool. <laughs> this is going to be the entire bit for an hour. <laughs> we're just going to have to go back and forth with this. Oh what were you now? Let, let, we're going to talk real, some actually some 40k for a change, and then Robert's going to move around as per usual. He's probably going to bake a cake because that's Start what he does. Cake. I had to. I had to fix my pencil. I have to wash it in other water so I don't get silver flakes in my water. This is no one pro shit uh, in their water. Pro plus plus. So uh, they basically said that when the Marine book comes out, we're going to have all of these basically game wide weapons changes. For instance, hey. the 12 inch flamer, I think, actually affects everybody super hard. But I actually like certain Xenos armies with it. I was saying before the thing. I actually think that crisis suits jumping down with with crazy flamers. I think that acolytes with hand flamers that are 12 inches uh are just super scary especially the fact that they can show up you know three inches away from you if you're in like a dawn of war deployment that means you're flaming basically the back of your opponent's army yeah no i think <sighs> i like orcs with burnos too getting a boost yeah but the I, but they're not affected so <laughs> who's not affected how do you know they're not affected because it re- literally said heavy flamers flamers and hand flamers so i'm going back on my usual bandwagon that thank you G- Games Workshop were making Space Marines better. They should have said all flame weapons become 12. I, I'm True. optimistic that they will be doing that. You're optimistic? Dude, yeah. I think it's crazy. I think you you're going to see that when you get an work code. Not, I'm not Did, before that. Daniel, what do you think about uh, actually having like Death Company with hand flamers with their pregame move and all that kind of shenanigans? Is it worth it? I, it, I, it was, uh, I, I was looking at it before hand flamers went up to five. But now with 12-inch flamers, maybe. Why not? Five points, it's not that bad. You know you know what's the best five points ever? Hunter killer, miss, hunter killer missiles. Yeah. Did you see maybe. the changes to the hunter yeah. killer missile? I mean, they, they were nice before as well. They're, they're so. now strength 10, though. Yeah, I know. So they're better, of course. Yeah. Sounds good. Love it. Yeah, yeah. I have a story about a salamander by Captain. Brad, do you want to tell it? Which which one the uh, the me getting killed immediately by one hunter killer missile make me well, sad? Well, it was a super good analysis from Brad. He can shoot <laughs> one high good. yield missile pod on my commander with minus one to wound and two plus save. I could probably take that. And then yeah, that I, again, reminded Brad. I also yeah. have nine seeker missiles. I go. I was literally playing. I, I, I run my I run my salivator captain out in a game, and I'm doing the math. I'm thinking I'm being all. Super mojo, Brad S doing some math here. I'm like, okay, he statistically I should be fine. He's only got this, this, and this. And you know how I always say, make sure you look at your opponent's list before you play the game. Well, I didn't do any of that. And uh, <laughs> then he shot a seeker missile off everyone, <laughs> and one of those guys got through and did six damage, which is uh, exactly how many uh, wounds I have. So uh, <laughs> I picked him up. He was uh, not the unkillable salamander captain. He was just some guy who drove on the edge of the board <laughs> near, near some forest. He was a, he's a, a red splot <laughs> on the very far edge of the board that had absolutely no bearing on the game. I mean, I guess he did draw out a lot of seeker missiles. There was a lot of seeker missiles went that general direction and uh there wasn't anything there afterwards though i i should have probably looked uh at that 
So just to have three pocket mortals. Yeah, exactly. That is actually a decent thing, Tim. Uh, they, was talking, they were talking about how you could basically put a hand, uh, flamer on all your salamander sergeants just so you could pop the stratagem to get three mortal wounds. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think, I think with the, I mean, obviously Marines are getting better. So Daniel's hundred percent correct, but the, the flamers and salamander armies is really like where I think you're going to see the most uptick and the most play, yeah. especially even from hand flamers. Um, but I do, I do hope that, uh, the changes that we're seeing get very much universalized, uh, in the game. Yeah. Well, they're, it looks like they're doing mostly unit. Mean, they've already said, you know, of that they basically said that the, even the dirty Xenos are getting them, which everybody knows that I will be on board with Xenos. If I think it's the most powerful army, because I'm willing <laughs> to switch armies at a drop of a hat. Army Is that more board. powerful than my current army? Woo! <laughs> on board. <laughs> yeah. Sisters, I think are going to be crazy nuts with the fact that you can literally walk out with, Multi meltas with the yeah. cherubs, fire about a million times. Use they um, double their damage output basically with this, with yeah. the bolters being better, flamers being better, and flamers melt up pistols. And the, 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 the thing that I don't like though, <laughs> take a spearhead of martyr, use one of your your ones on your dice, kill the sister superior, give her a plasma pistol, then all the multi meltas hit on twos. Yeah, but what I don't like though, that, that's I mean it's a great combo, but what I don't like about this change for sisters for me personally is that. Um, we were seeing one particular build be kind of the primary build, which is like almost like a sister's horde uh, approach to the game with like a bunch of weapons just like hidden in units. Um, and then, and then you know, with this change, I think it's only going to make that list more powerful. Um, I was a big fan of like Seraphim and like, sh you know, sh shenanigan sisters coming in from reserve, doing a bunch of different things. But now I think it's really going to, with the way the missions currently are, um, and then this change, I think you're going to see a lot of like, sister based hold like army approach where they take three of the objectives on the board ensure that they shoot you off one and they always hold more and they just sit there and they just ignore rend and they're just extremely hard to kill and when you get close they have even more guns you're like what the hell where are all these Dude, guns coming the, out of the power x uh, changes actually are kind of big for the zephyrim on that too uh you get 12 inch charges and they're wounding even more now you know what i mean the swords are yeah, they have swords no. Sorry, so any of them, I'm saying all basically all, all power, got plus one power, power yeah. anything got plus one more strength than they were. Yeah, no, it's it's yeah. definitely a big deal because they're already they can already get plus one strength from a strat. So and they reroll wounds, which is really, really good. So like it's not bad, it's really good. Um and with power with a uh, miracle dice, they're like amazing. But they're just the efficiency you get with just taking like a hundred and ten sisters and just putting them on the board. Now you're gonna hide a bunch of heavy bolters, flamers, and melty guns in this whole thing the best you can, the most efficient ways you possibly can think of. It's, it's like a really boring army that I think is really, really effective. So like if we had events, I wouldn't be shocked if like I was there with that army, uh, just hating myself, but <laughs> playing it. Dude, but there is um, so many shenanigans though. You literally take triple, <laughs> triple retributor, <laughs> triple retributor, Zephyrim, tons of sisters. And let's be honest, you're never going to hate yourself on it. You're going to love it. You love every W. It's like the most out, boring man. army ever. Like I'm trying to make some fun yeah. armies right now, which is have which I'm having fun making. Um, I made that salamanders list just for you, Brad. So I had that army ready to go when you came over. Um, you haven't given me another list, by the way. What list do you want me to get ready next time you come over? Oh, I've got I've got lists. I, I'm going to make you do Harlequins. I think they're so good. Oh, that would be really tough for me to do. Har Har I can Harlequins try. are so good I because I think you're going to see a really high AP meta because of the fact that Storm Shields, again, are going live across the board. So you're going to see lots of people with like either one-up saves and zero-up saves and cover. I think you're going to see lots more AP with the multi-meltas getting two shots, and then Harlequins just do not care. You know what I mean? They're like... Uh, bolter shot or multi melter shot. I'm just going to go ahead and take that save. There you go. So they have some shenanigans. Uh, they are good. No exorcist. Don't go yo exorcist. Tim, I love that idea. Trap. Don't listen to Brad. Tim, I like your idea. That's a fun army. It's not very good. Very fun though. <laughs> exorcist. <are tra> <laughs> it's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. Um, no, it's so a trap. Yeah, Dude, tell I, I me found about, out, uh, I found out you got, uh, were a trap. Uh, Do we got some? I got now. tournaments going on. I got a tournament this weekend. Uh, Daniel, you've Ooh. got a tournament next. I have. I actually, I'm actually signed up now for five tournaments. Damn, I'm so jelly. There's so much jelly I'm, going on. And, 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 and he's gonna he's Gothenburg. gonna win zero. I'm gonna go to Gothenburg in two weeks, then Umeå in three weeks, 
then uh, a tournament here in Sweden in like five weeks, then a t- which is a team tournament in Stockholm. I mean, not Sweden. I, I love that you just called. I love that you called it Sweden. You're like everywhere else is fake Sweden. <laughs> I'm going to a tournament then there's Sweden. The real Sweden in Stockholm. I mean Stockholm. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> then the big team tournament uh, in um, south of Gothenburg with uh, 20 teams, which is going to be awesome. And then I'm signed up for Amsterdam, Ut- Utrecht, uh, 250-player tournament in November. What? 250-player yeah, what? tournament in Amsterdam. Well, they must yes. be they must be on drugs because they don't know what's going on in the world, but okay. <laughs> so i guess so uh one quick quick answer to one of the questions chris uh there are no tournaments i'm aware of in the chicagoland area for the foreseeable future uh, i think there was a quick event at gary's backyard which we talked about last week um and he's probably gonna be doing those monthly uh is what i was what gary told me um but you can reach out to him on the chicagoland 40k um channel thing but i don't think we're having any at the main stores for a while so unfortunately uh, He'll have Daniel, monthly until it gets cold. <laughs> yeah, da- Daniel, what are you? What are you? Pl- what, what are you playing at the next one? You, are you playing that Blood Angels list? Yeah, I'm. Play- I, I've already, I've gone down the spiral of anxiety a bit more and uh, hardened it a bit more. But yeah, I'm playing Engine Seer, Fifteen Raiders. Uh, I've thinned out the ranks a little bit uh, on the Death Company and put in uh, plasma inter- in- interceptors as well because I think they're really strong with wings of fire so you can take so them up and put them yeah dude that's that dude those guys you can pull so many shenanigans with because i don't think people realize you can use wings of fire on them and you can just drop down in people's backfields and just yeah. murder shit yeah, yeah Ooh, and then if I, you're not protecting I've it, yeah, if you're not a little bit on the uh, asteroid so i have plus one to hit Ooh. so they don't burn up nice yeah, Robert, are you going uh, to any tournaments at all? Or are you just going to be baking and talking to your ex-girlfriend, trying to get back together with her? <laughs> First of all, I'm not getting back with that bitch, and I thought I made it clear last time. I'll I'll tell you how I thought she would never uh, contact me again because I've meh. well, we'll get to that. But yeah, I'm going to the team tournament. Uh, I have a shittier team because I get to pick friends last. But <laughs> you, mean, uh, you mean you mean I, friends uh, pick you last? Uh, no, I, I picked them, uh, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Daniel got the good friends, and I got the bad friends. But, <laughs> but I'm hopeful. I'm gonna play salamanders or custodes, depending on what my shitty team will play. Yeah, like if it was a different game, I would be so much better. If we were playing shoots and ladders right now, Robert and Steve would be kicking ass. Dan- Daniel, who's on your team? Well, the original team is. We took gold last year. It's me, uh, Jimmy P- Pedersen, uh, Andreas Berglund, our Astra player, and then actually Henrik Lampian. Okay. We got gold last year. Uh, this year it's the same team, but today Jimmy canceled on me, so I'm I'm trying to recruit. Oh, why the fuck did you tell me before I found three shitty friends? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. I'll come in your team. Wait a minute. Hey, is the is... travel is the travel ban gone from US to Sweden? Yeah, they, I know it lets us in countries. We don't have close borders, you know. A- am I taking a, Am I taking a train, Daniel? Call Elon Musk. I think he's almost there. <laughs> he's digging, personally digging. I'm literally, I mean, I'm, more than Daniel. Welcome, I'm literally Alan. googling Come after, over. after the podcast. On the tip. After the podcast, I'm googling. Can I go to Sweden? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to know who Robert's. Uh, second B-ranked friends are that are going to th- this tournament with him. Who are you bringing? No, are these people it's, it's, it's ever, funnier ever that we don't well, know. I'm bringing e- ETC players and prospects, but from like six years ago. So, <laughs> so, you, guys, so you guys are the has They're good, but Swedish you have has-beens. played a lot. So let, let's say that. I like it. <laughs> yes, exactly. We have Pick shirts, we have shirts for you if you need them. <laughs> Dude, uh, I'll just jump on Daniel's team because that sounds awesome. Corey's on fire right now. He, Robert's pick last in all the Swedish games. You know the the usuals: pin the tail on the troll, toss the herring, meatball eating contest. <laughs> 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 I just love that you're like. There's I'm one contest that Ro- that Robert comes in first, being the best guy at the party to take you to the hospital. He's first place in that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see? First place. I, also, I, I did. That. 
I did that. Oh shit! No, I painted my shirt. Also, <laughs> hunting hunting down people on cocaine in hospitals. He's number one, first place. <laughs> <laughs> first place. I I would have taken you. I was too busy trying to figure out why there was whipped cream all over my face. <laughs> I would say the third thing that Robert's first place in <laughs> is getting nurses at a hospital to fight each other. These are all yeah. things Robert's first place in. People pay for that shit on the internet. Did you throw some money <laughs> on the ground and just go go at it? What happened here? I didn't know this happened. I know I was there for this story, but I didn't know you had like some kind of Star Trek music playing. Qu Ta -da! Quick, <laughs> quick version, <laughs> quick version of a long story is when we got to your socialist hospital in S Stockholm, wherever the hell we were, which is like the third hospital we went to, That's where fine. everybody in Sweden was like, "No, nah, we can't help you." Uh, and we got to the third hospital, uh, and they made us follow the color on the floor. Robert went with me because I don't speak Swedish and we found a nurse who was extremely, extremely pissed off that we came at her door. And then she demanded that Robert point out the nurse in the front room who told us to go that way. So Robert's like, it was that one. <laughs> and then the lady came over and she started yelling at the, the front nurse. And the, and the front nurse started yelling at the back nurse. And these two ladies got in this argument. I swear to God, if there wasn't glass in between them, they would have started pulling hair. It was insane. And Robert was just smiling. He's like, Haha, this is a part of my design. <laughs> I'm not taking a bullet for that bitch in the fucking cashier number two at the hospital <laughs> she the best part no the best part robert was you corrected her she's like was it cashier number one robert's like no it was cashier number two and she's like show me and robert's like sure come this way yeah. <laughs> i love me everything ass. about this i was just glad to, to get the attention and then there was another guy there with us who showed up uh rhymes with penny and uh, he he got uh, some white dust on him, and he, he was running away from a security guard, paranoid the entire time. And then we had to leave, and Robert's like, I'll find him. He came back in two minutes with him. <laughs> it's like a giant hospital, and somehow he found him. Uh, so much fun. Well, it's not a superpower. Jim is just shit at hiding. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like He's two just meters behind away the behind the <laughs> pillar or something. You're like climbing hither now. No one can see me. You're a fat ass redhead that stinks of herring. <laughs> I can have found you blindfolded for fuck's sake. Well, sorry, not herring. Oh Perfect. man. So, anyways, that was that was the story, Brad. Um, but back to you 40k. Know, I, I'm gonna I gotta get this question because I feel incorrectly on this. I think that Woofin, Woofin, um have lost a little bit because of the fact that they, uh, because of that save, they get one less save. But uh, I think that a, a lot of other things are very, very competitive right now with Space Wolves. Uh, I've actually been having some crushing. Uh, Blade Guard Veter or, uh, yeah, Blade Guard Veterans getting the Wolf Guard keyword is going to be nasty. Uh, the fact that everybody's hitting on deuces, the characters still just destroy people. And I actually like things like, well, I like Plasma Interceptors like in every army, but... I actually think some of the strats for that are really, really good. Now, I, I don't exactly. understand. If you're holding a Marine model in your hand and you're painting it, right, and, and you're looking at it and you, you do a checklist and you're like, this model is a part of the Space Marine Codex, check, then you're good. And if you hold the model and it's not part of the Space Marine Codex, you just, you just don't toss it to just the side. stop complaining because like, you've already decided not to play Space Marines. Six so there's nowhere in the last like, two weeks, no Space Marines. There's the nowhere top. to complain. Thank you very much. Like, you already have. You're already painting a Space Marine model, so it's not like you like that model more. Just play Space Marine Codex and paint the Space Marines however you want. That's what I say. But if you're painting an orc or, or something else or like a Tau model, then yeah, then you don't, you don't have a Codex, so you can whine. Which way you painted? Brad's like, dude, I don't know too what this harsh. Color is called, but <laughs> what is that? I don't, Let me see this. That Let me see that I don't need this negativity in my life, guys. Let me I don't see need this again. negativity. <laughs> Robert, bring that up to the camera one more time. One more time. Okay, or not. Robert's just like, Speaking I'm not going to. There it is. Oh, cool. I love right, everything like about this. Nice. You are, painting, you are painting the dude from the Indominus box. I made mine have a salamander shield. And it looks That's awesome. the thing. I'm going to play mine as white scores and or iron hands and or every other chapter that happens to be better than other chapters. Robert's got the good news of being able to jump on the Brad bandwagon. I'm driving. I'll be driving in the front of that. Which per, way we going? Doesn't matter. Whatever science is number one. That's where we're heading. Per, I once had an argument with a guy because I said, well, you can see that my guys are white scars. And he was like, how can I see that? They're blue. And I told him, well, it's the best codex. So obviously they're white scars. He got mad. I think it was Tröger. 
<laughs> you, should, you should always just go with this. I'm a he successor chapter. The most successful chapter. That's how it, that successor works, I'm right? Successor chapter. <laughs> most successful. Thank you. Successful. I, I do think it's kind of ridiculous that Marines are getting more stuff, though, by the way. I mean, I oh, love dude. the Necron releases. They were really cool. The I, Destroyer. Dude, I, dude, the Destroyer close combat guys look insane. Damage nuts. three. Nuts. Oh, they look so cool. They're like Jinkin' and Jiving. They good as well. The, yeah, the fucking, they seem pretty hit. good. And you can give them a 5 plus pretty easy now with that dude, that aura guy. He just gives them a 5 plus invo. I mean, if they don't have one, I don't know what their rules are. Hey, he just put it on him. He yeah, literally he just, just put chooses him. to yeah. put them on them. And then there's a bunch of things that I'm reading about re-rolling charges. Reanimation protocols look gross. Yes, I did. Yeah, they, they look, look really good. good. Gross. Dude, that's a good looking army. I actually think that's a marine killer too. I actually think that might change the meta because all of the Necron... Uh, uh, weapons literally should say anti-marine tech weapon. It's yeah, but but, but, but we got to hope IP multiple damage. But I'm scared. I, I'm scared if 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 it's too good. I'm scared. I don't want it to be too good. Like I want Necrons oh, to get a significant why? boost because I hate playing like I hate myself for playing like an army that's like the best army. I don't. Know. I love me so much that it's that. okay. I can play whatever. I feel like, no I want Necrons. Whatsoever. I want Necrons to be good. I just don't want them to be broken. Like Space Marines are broken. Like they're, they're I I think I, I want everybody to be at Space Marine level, so you have tons and tons of awesome options, and yeah. you could basically make great, cool armies with different uh, archetypes and still do really well. If everybody had that, it would be super fun because you could have all of these super cool list designs and stuff. You know what I mean? You could be constantly I, making. I love that idea, Brad. But why is everyone bringing? Three Melta units, three Blade Veteran units, three yeah. Bike units. Uh, so because I'm playing Codex and Scepter this be, weekend, baby. Brad is trying to <laughs> be an ambassador, an ambassador of the game. Brad is trying to always look on the positive side. Um, no, but I, but, I literally, when I look at my a, Marine, yes, yeah, certain units Marines. are a little bit over over uh, represented. But as a whole, I think that there's tons. That's why Marines feel a little OP. But other everybody should be able to do this, right? When I make a when I make a marine list, there's so many units that I think about including in my list. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm playing a shit ton of inceptors. I've got some aggressors. I'm playing an infiltrators, assault intercessors. You know what I mean? The characters are all cool, and I think that the Necrons are going to be the same type of army where you can be putting in lots of cool shit. But I, why isn't everybody like that? I don't even know. Alan just went down to the ground with his chair. I don't know what just happened there. I don't know. Are you trying to like wonder how it feels to be me? Sitting down really low. <laughs> no, I wanted to stand. I'm getting tired of sitting, so I stood up. Um, uh, I, I, I totally agree with you, Brad. I just don't. It's not realistic because it never happened before. It's never going to happen because the way that the game is structured and the way that the organization is structured is they're going to continuously do somewhat of a creep type of release schedule so that they can sell models. And Unfortunately, Space Marines just sell the most because they're like the most popular thing. And because they sell the most, they are always going to, you know, like, they're going to push that one pretty hard. And then once they get to a point where it sounds like they're getting there soon, but like they're going to go to Necrons next and they'll go to the next thing, next thing. And by the time they get all the way around, you'll have a codex creep on the other side. I love that. I get, I'm just getting shit here. You fucking politician. Just say they're imbalanced. <laughs> After everyone gets imbalanced, then there is balance with the imbalance. Yeah. Stay with me here. Seriously. Everyone's right. <laughs> Stay with me. You are too much of a politician. I have way too many sex scandals to be a senator. Nah, nobody cares about that stuff. That's <laughs> that'll, that'll never come up. <laughs> uh, there's no way that it, they're just gonna have people in a line going, "I was also angry with Brad over this." <laughs> like, yeah. 500 so, 460 I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know where where would you even go with like Dark Eldar? What's that? Where would you even go with like Dark Eldar? Like a new codex right, or not or after the codex right now? Yeah, exactly. No, like 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 how would you even make them close to Marines? I feel like it'd be hard to make Dark Eldar close to Marines without breaking them. Buff, like you would just the make bikes, them broken. Buff up, buff up bikes, buff up incubi. Uh, basically make their troop make choices not new, terrible. Make new units that we haven't seen. Yeah, that are great. Hey, so this is a good. This is a good skit, Brad. Against Workshop can sell more units. We should. We should um, probably do this off air. Sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt, Daniel, but we should probably do this off air. But I'm not going to do it off air. We have 13 people watching. Whatever, we can ask them what they think. Um, should we do a skit where we go codex by codex and we suggest what we would change to make them as good as Marines? Possible. 
I feel like that'd be fun. More grats. Uh, as grats. a se separate sitting, you mean? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not right now. Yeah. No. <laughs> Daniel's, Daniel's like, I'm not You're ready. Like, I'm, I'm not ready, ready for this I'm job. Ready. <laughs> ready to get it on. Right now. Right this second. I actually don't think some codexes are too far away. I think certain codexes are pretty close to, to being good codexes. Not like Space Marine level, but I'm hoping Space Marines get, you know, a little bit but knocked not, down, knocked down with the codex. Everything else has to be picked up. And well, I, don't think I mean, Space I Marine, heard from multiple yes, people. Right now, I heard from multiple again, people the points six, are going six up. Six tournaments, last two, two weeks now, worldwide, of course, but in the last six tournaments that I was looking at, and there's not that many tournaments, we've had zero Marines in the top three because lots of things can play the mission the, right the, now those statistics and play it don't, very well. The, those statistics don't matter to me. They don't take into consideration player skill. They don't take into consideration who's playing what. They don't take into consideration meta, like, within that area. Like, that's not... I don't think that's an uh, accurate statistic. I think anybody who really understands how the game is played right now would know that, you know, they're way too strong because <laughs> they Pol are. Poland doesn't <laughs> Pol Polish the Polish uh, ETC team doesn't think that they're worth taking. No, they don't. They, they think they're so good they don't want to take them. <laughs> yeah, you're misconstruing Magnus did facts nothing right wrong. Now. Exactly. Magnus did nothing wrong. He tried to warn the emperor, damn it. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think they're really, really strong. I mean, there was a poll on Competitive 40K about the current missions, and, like, the overwhelming majority, like, crazy, like, 95% of people were like, they're perfectly fine. And, like, anybody who plays them enough is going to realize that there's a single archetype that's going to play these missions. Like, once there's tournaments, like, you're going to have one standard approach to them across every army. And some armies just do that approach better than any other army. And then we're going to get like 18 new missions and everybody's going to be like, son of a bitch. Well, no, I think a lot of people are under the assumption that like secondaries in the codexes will be like good. And I just don't have any faith in those at all. I think they're going to be more like auto points. Like, oh, I just auto get these points. I auto get these points, which I hate. I hate auto points. I like interactive points that cause that constantly require your opponent to either decide not to stop you or not be able to stop you, but had the ability to do it if they thought about it uh, during the game. Like, I hate any points you get without without interaction. Those are just dumb. Well, well, it's the same goddamn creators that decided, oh, let's put a special mission for Iron Hands. Uh, what should you do? Like, we have hold one objective for one point. I think one point should be charge a goddamn Dreadnought into your opponent's deployment zone. Because they figured this is balanced. Oh, what if I don't have a dreadnought? Well, you're shit out of luck. So, you know, <laughs> the secondary is going to be shit garbage or super good because that's always how they do stuff. Like the Dark Angels ults the Maelstrom card that you just spent. It's a secret. Also, I score five points. <laughs> I, I think I think Kurt, I think you're right. I think Admech are pretty good, but I don't think they're on par with Marines. I don't know how many games oh, you have with Salamanders. Insane, dude. Okay, time out. I don't think you. I don't know how many games you have against Salamanders. Get some games in with them. See what they do. I mean, maybe you have a bunch. I don't know, but like, I've just after three games against Salamanders, I'm like, whoa, <laughs> what's going on right now? <laughs> so, Admech's yeah, Admech is a super good codex. It's tricky, and I think Blade Riot it could be in, on par with Space Marines. The, that isn't the problem. The problem is Space Marine doesn't have to play right. Correct. It's such a average player. Codex. It's like, oh, I fucked, I fucked up here. It's okay. I have toughness five, three wounds, two up save anyways. Yeah. I won't die, so yeah. it's okay. Yeah, I ignore I negative one rend. Oh, wait, I'm going to get plus one armor save because you're only damage one. Like, there's just, it's just too many things. I mean, yeah. I, I think what you guys are saying is I chose correctly in my army currently. No, what I'm okay. saying, what yeah. I'm saying is Kurt's right. Admech are a good army, are a codex, and I agree with Daniel too, but you have to pilot them extremely well. And there's I think very they're few people that I think they're do top that. tier. They're very and terrifying. Marines, I don't know. I, I agree that they might not be, need to be in, well. in the same mojo as Marines as far as just the easiness of it, playing easy mode. But, dude, those things are crazy. Double priest, you know, three units of raiders, uh, disintegrators, that and some chickens, you know, with the extra damage. The and are really good with minus one damage also. Yeah, so it's it's just there's so many good units in that. I think that an Admech army is the biggest problem is is that Admech is the, the biggest problem in getting into Admech is you literally have to mortgage your house to get all the new models and everything else. They're expensive. Expensive. What what what, what model do you require? <laughs> what model do you require? Fifteen raiders. Fifty. I was saying fifteen raiders. 
Yeah, it, it, Fennel's been uh, taking Kurt to the to the the back of the the back of the woodshed and treating him badly with his ad neck. Fifteen Raiders. What Raiders? What are Raiders? Raiders are horsey oh, guys. Raiders, the horse dogs. Oh, that's the easiest model in the world. They are expensive. I have like sixty. Of they're them. Uh, they're like almost fifty euros for three of them. Yeah, it's it's not exactly a cheap. Um, and five of them are 80 points. So they're almost, you know, 10 bucks a model. 10 bucks per point, I mean. Yeah, it's, it's just nuts. 10 bucks per 10 point. Yeah. I can't and they're them. really no, good, no. though. They fill yeah, a really just... good slot for them. Lots yep. and lots of spears with spinners and psychers. Yeah, those horses are a crime against points. They're so good, dude. Uh, they, they, I think that's one of the main reasons I actually like Admac on that. I thought that list was really good before, but you added those Raiders in there, and I felt that it really, the Raiders took something that Admac didn't have, and they just went, oh, you're going to have something amazing now with that. Yeah. Like it. Serpent Psychers. Uh, yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff. $15 of resin. Yeah, exactly. Lots and lots of spears. Yeah. yeah. Corey's got what, what Alan's thinking. Yeah, I heard what you guys are saying, but what I heard was, Fifteen dollars in resin. Fifteen dollars of resin is a <laughs> lot of resin. You can, you would, you would make enough horses for like a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kurt. Kurt was bringing a bunch of vehicles, but then uh, Fennel played his breachers army and went, "Hey, do you know what breachers do against vehicles?" They Ooh, wreck them. you're <laughs> about to. <laughs> Real, real. What school do you attend? The school of hard knocks, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm trying to make. Or, still trying to make orcs. Damage. That sucks. It's the, I, feel, I feel like I'm close. Next silver time we'll Templars. Drag, I'm gonna bring orcs. The uh, dude. I don't know. I did like the idea that he put up. I was like, he painted all of his dudes silver with uh, gorilla stickers, so they're the silverbacks. <laughs> Love everything about Spe that. Speaking of names, I have not seen that. Uh, does anybody know about this? I I did not read the White Dwarf. Uh, they had a couple things that were foreshadowed in, but they also had Silver Templars. I never. I did not see them. I did not see them, Corey. You were ahead of the game, bro. I will. I will. I will look into it. Ask oh, Mark, the orcs. Ask Mark about orcs. Who's Mark? I'm actually excited to see to read your new list. Which and his dumbass list is, dude, I feel that all orc lists uh, somehow fall into the dumbass category, and they always seem to work. But you know why? Because you just have to believe, believe. that they work. <laughs> I believe in a thing called orcs. Dun, 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 dun. Silver Templars look... I typically good. shoot better with my orcs than my space marines, and they hit them fives instead of... Exactly. Years. You know why, Daniel? Know. That, you believe yeah, that they yeah, work. I, the orc. I become an orc boy. <laughs> so if, if Necrons come out though and they're legit just better than Marines, are they going to suffer against other things? You think? Because if yeah, you could beat I, Marines, can't you just beat everyone? No, because I think that you're going to have trouble against Horde. You know what I mean? Uh, that's the only thing right now with the Necrons is none of their stuff looks to be super high volume. Uh, it looks to be able to really clear out elite-ish level armies. You know what I mean? Like basically Marine style, uh, that many models and stuff. Uh, but I think that they might have a problem versus just mass guardsmen or swarms or excuse whatever. You know what I mean? Just tons of idiot bodies. I actually think they'll have a tough time against sisters uh, with sisters just bringing mass chicks. And Yeah, I think that's the one sisters list that I think is just as stupid as Marines. But when the new rules come out, we'll see. Like if anything, I don't think anything is going to change for them. I think Marines are like from what I've heard, Marines are getting a points increase like about twenty percent in the new codex, uh, in addition to the points increase they just got with ninth edition. So it's going to be even more points. So that's going to hurt them a little bit. Um, that's what I heard at least. Um, so, but I don't think we'll see any increases on sisters if those rules go active. Then they'll probably get to use those weapons with their current points. Is my assumption. Yeah, because they didn't say anything about the changes. It. Yeah, Unless they just said. I think it. that the cha exactly. I think that the chapter approve already had the points uh, built into it. You know what I mean? Yeah, Bards are it. And I think I think Necrons though are going to be fine with Horde with 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 Gauls. Like Necron warriors were always good at Horde yeah. killing. The mortals are great at Horde killing. Scarabs are going to be probably good at mitigating horde damage, blocking horde out, and also killing them. <laughs> I hope they're good at vehicles. It looks like they will be, so that'd be cool. Um, 
So I don't I don't know, man. If Necrons could beat Marines, um, I think they probably have legs to beat Horde too. Um, it, it'd be interesting to see if they have any. Um, at, blast, at least blast they'll like have weaponry. the stability with the new reanimation protocol. Yeah, so dude, Hordes won't gross. kill them, right? Yeah, that's so true. Gross. Said, uh, I, and tell you the truth, those big units of warriors, warriors got so much better now, man. Oh, when they saw that. I, I I don't know. I think that the Necrons might actually have uh, play versus everyone. That I mean, talking about it a little bit, that was my first just, th- you know, f- my feels is that they might have a horde issue because if you're attacking for uh, basically the elite type of meta, if you want to take on Marines and Custodes and everybody else that's out there, which they have the that kind of mojo first. Ghost Arcs are great versus Hordes. They do put out like a ludicrous amount of shots with fifty yeah, ghost gauze arcs, arrays. Ghost Arcs are really good too. Yeah, and that, that, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm not. T- I'm not thinking about taking uh, too many big blocks of warriors. I might take. I might look into taking one twenty man, but like two Ghost Arcs with ten and ten, I think is a must. Is going to be like pretty much in mo- most lists I build, most likely, assuming the points are all good. Um, but I feel like those. The, the vehicle right now is good for the addition because you can get to objectives quicker. Um, and then the, it's all troops inside, so you have OPSEC. I was just, I'm really just good. thinking about the big warriors just because I want enough warriors where the unit still has a dude left for reanimation. Because, like, right now, even without the new stuff, you can actually pimp up reanimation to be uh, basically on a two-up with a reroll of a one. So you yeah, just but I'm assuming, I'm assuming I'm pimping that. I, I'm assuming I'm pimping that on other things, most likely. And that's why I said I have 120 brick unit. But the, the, the vehicles with guys I think is really cool because I think unlike every other army, when I go against Marines and I see those melted dudes and I'm like, well, my vehicle's dead. Uh, if quantum shielding stays even relatively the same, it's going to be laughable because you're just going to be like, nope, nope. You just move. Nope, you move closer nope. to get a better. You're like, <laughs> I, I noticed you weren't doing D6 plus two. I needed you to do more damage. Yeah, so like, roll it's underneath. crazy. <laughs> like, it's so crazy how... You could just basically make them irrelevant. Like, melted weapons might be irrelevant against Necron vehicles, uh, potentially, if you play it correctly. And even if you don't play it correctly, like, they were already somewhat irrelevant before um, with the old rule. So, with the new melter rule, it could even be worse for, for, for melted players. I, I mean, can, I can see. Th- this thing is, is, I think, I like the fact they're going to drop them together kind of deal because I think that they need, I, I think that they need to. You were saying it the other day. I would really like to see them drop double codexes each time, like basically a dichotomy. You know, two codexes that really are either very opposite of each other or one counters one very well, and just have them come out hand in hand, kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, I would. Like I wouldn't drop my breath Thousand there. Suns, uh, Space Wolves, kind of thing. You know what I mean? Just yeah. keep putting out two things at a time, Ooh, so that you have a fluff there. I like that, but I doubt right? it. Say I doubt it. it. But I'm saying, like, I mean, they're dropping two books, and they said they're going to drop those five books that they released by the end of the year. So you're going to have one or two a month, anyways. You know what I mean? So you're you're going to get a lot of that, I, I think. I, I mean, I by think, default, I think basically. I'm going to be paying for a subscription to the app because the Space Marine book I just bought for the previous release of Space Marine books <laughs> just feels like I just bought it. <laughs> like it's pretty much brand new over there, and I don't want to buy any more books. <laughs> so. You you, yeah. you have one app customer right here in the future. I already got it. I actually am looking forward to. I want to see. I really hope they make Destroyer Cults wreck by the end of the year. You know, I can I can see Daniel running some uh, straight up. I don't know what's going on if he's fighting someone in the background right now. I don't I don't know. There's a lot. Of... I, I just worked down and refilled my wine. Oh, uh, I, I couldn't see anything else. I just I, because of your background, I can only see you moving. So I was just like, is he? We need to call the cops. What do you mean his background? <laughs> what do you mean his background? That's the room he's in. Yeah. Well, the background. I, 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 I just went to my plant and got some wine. Yeah, yeah. he went to his plant. <laughs> it, it is a wine plant. Uh, yeah. The, we have oh, to God. Buy the Corey just made me so that. angry. Um, <laughs> Never mind. The, uh, I will, I will yeah, not I'm be super your juiced about the stuff, though. Uh, I just, I, I'm so, I can't begin to explain the, the jelly level that I'm experiencing right now when Daniel said that he's going to five tournaments in the next few deals. Ah, my jelliness increasing. I really hope that Amsterdam one happens. 250 players would be hardcore. I highly, awesome. I highly doubt it, but I mean, if they do, what it, are, they have no rules whatsoever right now. They have they rules, do. but apparently the the um, venue is big enough so they can follow the rules. Wow. Yeah, that's bullshit. That's, 
<laughs> they have doors. I think they technically don't, don't do not even take tourists right now, but they don't check. They just say, well, you're here because you need to be here, right? And you're like, yeah. And they're like, okay, <laughs> yeah. Come in. As, as they're opening, it just Daniel's seems like so with, many with things could go wrong inside, with this. Like, yeah. This is work related. This seems, is definitely seems work. really <laughs> shady. That one, that one seems really shady. But I think your Neil's tournament will definitely happen for sure. That's like thirty people, right? Forty. Yeah, people. no, all the all the Swedish ones are happening. We have the lowest COVID count in Europe, and we we're not really suffering at all. I would say. I mean, of course, people that are in hospital suffer, but uh, as a country, we don't have any big issues. So. All the Swedish ones are going to happen. Sure. Yeah, it's because you guys are naturally cold, distant people, anyways. So yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> we don't like people at all. So. <laughs> I, I took a COVID test today. To be honest, it's horrible. Yes, I had, I, had a- I had a taxi driver that came with a stick that you need to shove down your own throat, and that's quite hard. I, 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 I don't thought, think I thought you would be. Test, Robert. I, I was assuming you, just, you were going to uh, be great at it. <laughs> Yeah, you just uh, had to do weird stuff with the taxi cab driver, and that's all that happened. <laughs> no. yeah. I also like hey, the fact Robert, that I think you were was that a black cab the fucking corona uh, <laughs> pandemic in Sweden because he his sole job is going around delivering tests and then picking up the test. You would think that he wore a mask and kept a distance from the door when he rings on COVID patients like a hundred <laughs> times a day. No mask. He's like this close to me it's fucking retard <laughs> i love brad too he's like i don't think that was a COVID test i think that was just yeah. a cash cab <laughs> yeah that's you you were like he's also like also uh you have to take the COVID test with your clothes off and robert's like i <laughs> guess <laughs> do i have to be oiled up to you maybe you tell you take your clothes off <laughs> wait a minute you weren't know, you that off. guy on that beach <laughs> exactly. in that bush bend over and touch your toes it's a COVID test i swear <laughs> You're gonna feel some pressure. Oh my god! From the COVID so test state, we did the <laughs> prostate exam and the COVID exam at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> stupid, like, You're, you're like found paper positive one. for COVID. <laughs> I felt in my throat. <laughs> I think that's a cool thing, though. That they, they delivered a test by tax. I still haven't paid anything because we're in Sweden, motherfuckers. That's funny. And you didn't pay anything because you got raped by some weird guys in a taxi <laughs> brad, brad do you still have the toledo game room tournament this weekend is it is it going to be like comp though or whatever you were talking about i remember you were you were saying that this one's not going to be the one you're running you're going to run one next month no but i am going to run i've already decided because this one is run by some rando uh and he was no he hasn't reached out to anybody saying if he's going to run you know regular missions or whatever and if he's not, I'm just going to literally make an announcement at the tournament that uh, I will be running a tournament directly next to this guy running actual missions. And uh, everybody will just jump over and just play in that. You're literally so, you're going to go hijack a tournament this weekend. Yes, a thousand percent. He either could run real people missions that uh, we want to play uh, or uh, he can watch as the two guys he knows play with him at a table in sadness. <laughs> That's that's pretty brutal, man. <laughs> I, I guess you're playing by intent, right? <laughs> uh, I am definitely playing by intent. With the intent of not getting any friends. <laughs> with no, with the intent to completely ostracize one dude. He's gonna go home and like make a list. Brad's gonna be on it. Brad. People, yeah, those the people that I need to kill. I will be number one. <laughs> You'll be yeah. in a fetus position in a rape shower. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Next thing you know, I'm there with a, so in bad. a taxi cab with Robert getting a COVID test. <laughs> it's Robert, weird, man. Uh, you know, you, you wouldn't think it was that sanitary. You know, he was all oiled up to try to give me that test. <laughs> see, would a rapist print a paper that says? Because <laughs> it says Egan Pro. Egan Pro. Oh, it says Egan Pro. Oh, if it says Egan Pro, you're good. There's no way someone could make a, a paper with six lines of text on it. <laughs> it's folded. It's, it oh says in Swedish, please let me have sex with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it says in the paper, it must be a professional. <laughs> the tip of the penis gathers enough information to decide whether you have COVID or not. <laughs> yeah, Yo Kim fucking showed up. He, he didn't know about a... Yo Kim. Yo Kim, How uh, the... we found out that... Uh, Robert got tested for COVID, but it was a man in a cab who shoved something down his throat forcefully. He Which said it was seems bad. We, we actually don't believe that he, he had any, any issues with this, though. 
So just FYI to everyone listening. <laughs> I mean, we're, I we're joking around. Robert was totally fine with this approach. Uh, we can <laughs> we can ten ten agree to that one. Anything well, else, guys? I, still I think we, pay, I, so. you didn't pay. That's good. That's that's the best yeah. thing. Can't be caught off guard. I think Daniel's raising a glass. I think I don't know. I can't tell whether he's. I I, I tried to understand what was happening with my backdrop. <laughs> <laughs> I just look at Daniel's screen. He's like this. He's like, what? What is the shape in the air? <laughs> oh, um, what's going on? Here. We covered. We covered the most important topic, which was howling so banshees. So I'm I'm pretty happy. But what were you, what were you saying, Brad? No, I just it, I, I I've been to your home, but I, in the video we always look at it. It looks like your basement is ten times as big. It looks like it goes on to infinity. It, when you look at the camera angle that you're on, you're like, Alan's house to basement is like 4,000 square feet. <laughs> That's what Gary said to me. He came over. He's like, yeah, your basement looks a lot bigger on camera. <laughs> it's like, it's just a man yeah. cave, bro. I mean, nice I'm a lot thinner in real life. The camera adds. <laughs> nope. so many problems. No, that, we call that COVID. Life. That's COVID, buddy. <laughs> The camera adds like 12 square feet on me, so. <laughs> and the camera takes off at least a meter. Oh, my God. Like... One of the greatest stories ever. We're in Sweden, and we're hanging out with this guy that works with Daniel. Total prick. And he's trying to evaluate kind of like how big our houses are for some reason because he's a prick. And um, we, Brad, me, Nick Rose, none of us have any idea how to convert square feet into square meters. Uh, like while we're drunk, right? I think it's like <laughs> ten point seven or something like that of a ratio. But, anyways, long story short, all of us, footage. we gave him we gave him uh, square footage. We gave him square footage, right? He's like, how big? <laughs> he's like in America. How big is your house? I don't know if he sounds like that. I'm just trying to sound like a douchebag because he's a douchebag. And um, <laughs> he's like, how big is your house? And I'm like, what the hell is this guy's problem? Can we just drink and have fun? Why is this guy trying to have like a dick measuring contest all the time? And and I think Brad's like, my house is like three thousand square feet. You know, and the guy's like 3,000 square feet, you know, and he doesn't, he's, he's understanding it as square meters and we, no, we don't, and we don't care enough. To square meters. Yeah, we tried to, and we don't, we didn't care enough to like we explain not, to him. We did not translate it to square meters. We, we, we didn't, we didn't actually translate it to square meters, by the way, Daniel, we screwed that up. We gave him like a number. Yeah, I, know. I know you translated 3,000 square foot. To 3,000 square meters. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. we were telling him 3,000 square meters, and he's, like, freaking out. He's like, you guys live in castles. You know, like, like he, thought we're, he thought we, like, live in these mansions upon mansions. And he just kept asking everyone. He's like, what do you guys do for a living? How much money do you make? How do you live in a house that's 3,000 square meters? That's so oh, big, man. you know? And, and Brad and I, all of us are just like, what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> exactly. Dude, the best, best thing. The best thing. I'm getting to the part where he, where he told the Nick Rose. What he told to Nick Rose, he, remember? Yeah, he he goes to Nick Rose, and Rose said something about his wife. I, I can't remember. No, no, she he, goes showed, like a, he showed a picture of her on his phone. He showed a picture of her. Stuff. Yeah. And he, he looked at him and goes, why is she with you? <laughs> like, directly to his face. Just, like, waiting <laughs> for just, an answer. Like, he and Nick, captured Nick, her or Nick goes, <laughs> Nick pulls me to the side. He's like, hey. I, I so... mean, it's probably a valid question. But... <laughs> <laughs> Nick, and I Nick... hope you told them not all girls from Taken gets away. Some are actually sold. <laughs> yeah, Robert coming in at the end. We thought he, we thought we were going to go an entire episode with Robert not saying some crazy shit. But nope. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> you know? He came through at the end. We knew we could count on him. <laughs> oh, God. That's so good. Not, not all girls from Taken <laughs> get away. Well, I mean, if there's if there's never been a a better thing to end on, it's it's that right there. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Oh, yeah. oh. Uh, Robert, you win the award for today, my friend. You made me laugh. Oh, dude, that's good. Well, I don't even know where I was going with that story anymore because Robert's punchline was better than anything I was going to get to. So I think we're going to end it there because that was hilarious. Oh, I'm still geez. laughing. Oh, man. Robert, how's the painting going? How's your back? You, you're painting in the most... Like... Yeah, my, my back is fucked. Okay. But All the right. painting is going good, except that I keep forgetting which paint I... Because every goddamn model is the same. So I just keep painting them and realize, oh, I forgot one purity seal. So I take the, the paint again and then I have to wash the purity seal again. And it's an uh, unending story of torment. 
<laughs> ending story of torment. Oh my god, not all girls get away. We need to make a shirt. I we should make a whole thing about I'm gonna take a note on this one though. <laughs> well yeah, let's pick up Nick Rose. If he's big, he might hurt me or something. Well he wanted to beat up that guy. He asked me, he's like, Hey, listen, I don't know how Daniel's gonna react, but I think I'm gonna hit this guy if uh, he talks to me one more time and I'm like, just sit over here and like we separated the two of them and eventually that guy got the hint that no one wanted him around and he he went he went away. Also by the way brad to put in perspective michael uh, posted on here he said three thousand square feet is around 278 square meters so <laughs> so when we were telling him three thousand square, square meters that would be like a twenty seven thousand square foot house i'm assuming so <laughs> yeah. like yeah that's why he thought it was a castle so that's why he was asking all these questions but he was just we're coming like, off yeah, like man, such a, a douche house. Yeah, he's, he's coming he's just such a douche he was even a, a douche to jimmy who was our really good friend who like works with him He's even a douche to him. So it's like just a universal douche. I think he's like one of Daniel's best friends, but we just consider him a douche. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, any comments, Daniel, on the douche, no, the experience? No, that, that's, it's totally fine. You, everyone has the right to their um, opinion about people, so it's good. Uh, it's the <laughs> same guy that tried to save Nick from the cave troll. Yeah, it is the same guy, which which would have been horrible, by the way, because I love the, the next morning after story of me inter interviewing uh, Nick Brown, understanding exactly what happened with the cave troll. And if that guy stopped him, uh, we would have never had that beautiful that beautiful morning at breakfast where we got to understand exactly how cave trolls get on. I love it. Neil's just like, he's basic, He's basically a typical Stockholmer. <laughs> <laughs> But I do want comments. Uh, what uh, what do you how you feel about these upcoming tournaments, Daniel? They, 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 they say, I mean, Alan did say we would He's talk no forty k today somehow. But I, I want to steer it clear a little bit better. I, I'm super super excited. I'm excited about my list, so I'm gonna try that out on two of them. Uh, the other three, I don't know yet. We'll see where where the Blood Angels at Mech goes. Um, the one in Gothenburg is super competitive. It's like 12 or 14 out of the guys that are applying for the WTC team. It's on there, so it's going to be very competitive. The one up in Umeå, it's... Uh, it, I mean, I don't want to be cocky, but it looks like... Umeå. A, you know, the extra level where you only get gold bonus coins in Super Mario. There's no enemies. <laughs> <laughs> you just collecting prizes, baby. <laughs> Daniel's going to Daniel's going to show up to, show up to the So uh what, what price the part? can I can I pay the car now D Daniel, so it's just easier <laughs> Daniel's going to show us the tournament. that once in Umeå that they just send us the ranking points and like a prize and then we wouldn't have to go and ruin the tournament for like five <laughs> nice people. It, rem it reminds me of that meme Brad when you like uh there's like a meme where it's like a killer whale attacking a seal. And it's like uh, me playing all the side quests before I got to the first boss. The first boss. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> so, <I mean. laughs> so it's like Daniel like did all the side quests and like shows up at the tournament. And everyone's like, what the hell? This guy is crazy. He's level 100. <laughs> what is going on, dude? Where'd you get your armor, bro? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm excited that you have events, man. I wish we had, uh, I wish we had some tournaments. We do have a facility uh, in Rockford, Illinois, which you, I, you have no idea where that is. Close to Chicago. Um, that, uh, it's, that is, it's big enough. It's big enough, uh, to, to have events. It's like th an hour from my house, a little less than an hour. Um, and, uh, I'm hoping that they can start doing events, but the, the local stores are too small and the owners are too scared to really run anything. It looks like until, I'm, I mean, I guess forever. Um, and the, cause the new story is, you know, there won't be a vaccine until next summer. No, so. of course don't you, not. Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. I'm not putting evil on you. I work for a pharmaceutical company. I'm well aware of when this stuff's going to come out. Hey, are you guys going to bring the? Uh, are you going to bring the same list uh, to both tourneys? Uh, obviously, you're going to change things in October. But I mean, you've got two tournaments before you know Marine. Yeah, Bork I have two tournaments back to back. So I'll tr un unless something turns out to be really crappy, which it isn't. Uh, I, I I'm gonna just gonna do small changes just to test it out. Okay. Uh, but uh, most likely, you know, with, with or without minor tweaks, I'm going to play the same list, I think. Um, I will only have had t five test games before next tournament with it. So, uh, but 
it's it's like the good space marine shit and then the good Atme, admeg shit so yeah. i think it's gonna be good best of both worlds and, mixed together and how many, my, how many my final points? question to you is uh what excuse do you think you're gonna give robert uh, that he can't be on your team now that you see that you have an open spot. It's that I'm coming. No, I, I, he would have been my first call, but he already signed up with another team. <laughs> That's so brilliant. <laughs> well, this, this is the thing. I, I'll, I'll ditch this team unless someone <laughs> them are on this stream and it's will watch it. Nice. Otherwise, I'll just call in sick or something. <laughs> Robert's going to call in sick, call in to sick the to be there with Kevin a different team. Up at the tournament and be on your team. <laughs> hey guys, guys, I was really sick. There's no man. way I can make it. I'm super sick. Not going to be able to get to that tournament. Also, if you see me, I have a twin brother. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Paul. Paul. Uh, D- Daniel, how many That's CP do you start here. with in your Blood Angels Admech list? Uh-oh. What? In your Blood Angels Admech list, how many CP do you start with? Because you, you use a lot for that one, I think, before the game. No, right? I only pay three for uh, the Spearhead. Yeah, but how much do you use for the Blood Angels? Pre-game. No, I, I, don't, I don't pay anything up front, you know. I don't have any extra um, relics or, or uh, Warlord traits or anything. Actually, the only thing I'm going to use probably is Wings of Fire and 3D3, uh, 3D6 Charge. Okay. Maybe... Okay. On the DC, maybe, probably not. We'll see. Uh, except for that, it's two CPs to move the uh, war sounds around. What's your the deck, rate? anyways? You Stygies, Mars. What are you? What are you at? I'm. Uh, I'm thinking Lucius is the best because okay. then I can start in cover if I don't start, and then I can move over to plus one invo when I'm close, and then I have plus one invo on like a one and cover on a four. What's the strategy? So What's the strat that lets the horses leave if they get uh, targeted for a charge? I don't know. It's two CPs. I don't know what it's called. Is it is it is it a particular house of Mechanicum or all of Mechanicum? No, no, all. all. Okay. Yeah, so the funny thing is you do the same thing I do. I, I literally have no idea what any of my strats are called. I just know what they do and I say them. I'm gonna use the plus one to wound strat. I'm gonna use the Doesn't everyone? I don't I don't know what anything's called either. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, don't know. <laughs> I, I still don't know what wings like, of, what wings of fire the is. What's the one that you were saying for Blood Angels? What does that one actually do? You were referring to it by name. Wing, I think wing to fire is where I can take something up and then deploy it. That's what I thought. Table. That's what I thought. So Within nine inches, off guard, and then yeah. there's a 3D6 charge, yeah. which my plasma interceptors obviously won't do that often. Uh, they'll just move up and then shoot. Uh, mm-hmm. But I have a small death company unit as well. Uh, both of these units are really good for recon or uh, engaging all fronts, as it's called now. And uh, harassing, you know, putting them in the backfield yeah. when everyone is trying yeah. to move up, when the horse hounds are dead. Uh, people will be stressed to move out of their deployment zone, and then I'll just put threats behind them. So yeah, I think I it's going to be, so far it's been working really good. We'll see. I only have two games. I have three games on Sunday. I, I, made, so. a list, I made a list with your Admech contingent part um, for Tony Malave yeah. to play. It's not yours play style, yeah. so you wouldn't play it. But your Admech component... Which I love. I, I I play tested. It's amazing. I played right. It's really really good to just d- deny things and delay your opponent from getting going, uh, which is yeah. what I love about it. Um, so early off, it gives you a lot of it, like really interesting advantages that like you, you wouldn't get from other armies. Um, but then I I allied in scions as a second detachment, yeah. and then a third detachment of guard, like a spearhead of guard. Yeah. Um, and, so, and, super interesting. That's what I played. That was the first iteration of this list. I lost zero three and just wrote an article about it and cried for a week and then I changed it. To <laughs> did you? Did, what, what did you play though? Because my science component is three Torox primes, and then the spearhead has, has Lehman Russes, no, which I, I had upset. some plasma scions and then I had some manticores with the uh, two manticores with full, full payload. payload. Yeah, and I had some basilisks and guards and stuff just uh, to be in the way, really. Uh, two things in the comments, guys. One, what was the place in Rockford you were talking about, Alan? Uh, c- uh, Cataclysm Games. And then the, the other one was, Neil just checked, yep, Daniel's the only person who missed the payment deadline in the team tournament. <laughs> <laughs> and so Daniel's booted out of that tournament. He's sending, so a, Daniel's he's sending a bounty hunter to get the, the, the money now, so you should probably watch out for it. <laughs> He can't find me because I have uh, this fake background, so he don't, doesn't know where I am. We, we can't track him. We don't know yeah, where he is. is. Uh, next week, Daniel, I expect to see the hanger on the podcast. He's a longtime friend. 
listener of the podcast. We miss him. We want him back on. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I can I can bring out the hanger. There's actually shit hanging on the hanger now. Yeah, let's get that shit off the hanger and let's yeah, just whoa, hang the whoa. hanger. We don't want the stuff it, on the like hanger. We want the hanger shirts. I don't want the <laughs> hanger. Basketball. I don't want the hanger to have anything on his back. I want him yeah. to be free when he comes on the podcast to talk about what he wants to discuss. You know, engage in discourse. Yeah. <laughs> And, yeah. and and have fun. I'll, I'll bring. I'll try to bring him back. All right, sounds good. I like. It. We appreciate this. All yeah. right, <laughs> we're good. Daniel, pay for your tournament. Take it easy, guys. It's, 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 it's,